All right, YouTube, back. Uh, this is a part two to the brake upgrade video. So I did the braking process, and I only had one slight problem, and that was on my behalf. So I didn't put the the brake cap on tight. So I hit the brakes, all the fluid, not all of it, but some most of the fluid kind of came out. But um, other than that, uh, this damn thing stops a whole lot better than it did than it did before. So hopefully this um, alleviates uh, all my brake dust that I have on, the, on my rims. Because every time I drive this truck, if I drive it like to the store and back, it's like brake dust on, on everything. So um, yeah, new calipers, new rotors, new pads. Um, uh, what else we got? Uh, new bearings. Uh, the races that came with the rotors are new. Uh, all new grease, greased up all the all the, um, the bearings and uh, put grease on the spindles. And I took it to 55 miles an hour after I did the braking process, and I, I hit the brakes and this damn thing stopped, like no problem. So I'm like, cool. You know what? That's all right. Um, that's good. So the only upgrade I have to do now is the master cylinder swap from the MBS trucks to this one. And then um, that's gonna conclude my brake upgrade for this truck. And I'm probably gonna call it done for a while with this truck. Um, it's getting hot outside and uh, I really don't feel like doing no actual work when it's 85 degrees outside. I don't. Sorry about the wind, this is really hot outside and uh, I haven't gotten the AC recharge in my truck yet, so. I gotta have some air in here before I die. Oh, they fixed the street. Oh, about time. Jesus Christ. So, um, yeah. I like the kit so far. I like it. Uh, even though it's my first day having it still, uh, I really haven't put any, any actual miles on it. But I do like the kit. I do. I'm gonna take it down, down the freeway and, um, you know, just see how it does. It shouldn't be much of a difference from, you know, driving in the city. You know, I'm on the freeway now, so I'm, I'm going to be going anyways. But, um, yeah, the break-in process for it was easy. Five stops, five immediate stops of uh, 40 miles an hour, and then five and 35. And you drive around five minutes, let it, let it cool off. Uh, I drove back to the house to get some more brake fluid. And that was about it. But, um, yeah, it, you know, it's, it's a fairly good kit. I personally like it so far, uh, even though it's still new to me, but it was a fairly easy installation. It wasn't hard to do. Um, I only had, like I said, two problems uh, that were kind of like my fault, uh, not the kit's fault, but uh, the cotter pins I, I bought from AutoZone were uh, too big. And just that brake cap that I had to do, that was it. Other than that, that was pretty much it. Um, the kit is pretty solid, actually. It's not. It's not bad. You know, I I will buy it again if I had a, another OBS truck. Um, I will buy the kit again. I would. Um, you know, I don't see a problem with it. I personally like it. Um, I know one thing. Speaking of another OBS truck, uh, my wife she does she does like the Tahoe Limiteds. And if I can find one for a decent price that's not molested, um, doesn't have, you know, 500,000 miles on, on its fifth motor and this and this and this, two blown transmissions, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, for a good price, I might pick one up. Um, and maybe I'll do the same break of grade for, for that one also. I'm probably pretty sure I will. Um, but yeah, the kid is nice, man. Only thing I, I face in this is this, this, this pedal. Um, everybody knows the OBS pedals, they suck. That squishy feeling. That's the only issue I have now, but I'm, I'm gonna address that um, maybe the end of this month or first of next month. I'm gonna order me a master cylinder off of a newer, uh, a new uh, Silverado. Hopefully that fixes the problem. If not, then a hey, Hydro Boost it is, I guess. 20 year old Hydro, hydro Boost, and you know, maybe. Maybe the problem. 
But, you know, I'm, I'm going to do the master cylinder first and then hydro boost swap. And I'll be done with it. As far as the brakes, I'm, I'm not going to do anything with the back brakes. I'm not going to do the, uh, I'm not doing no um, rear disc brake conversion for it. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to do all that. Nah. Uh, but I will be painting the rotors on my truck maybe this month, maybe next month. I don't know because the rest of the look is not cool. So I'm probably going to paint those black you know, like everybody else does. Because the rust on them and then with the wheel finish, it just looks looks horrible, you know, looks horrible. But um, I go the sunroof for you. But that'll be it. Um, I'm gonna stop up here at um, the road I usually stop at and just smash the brakes and see what happens. But um, I'll bring it back in a second. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm about to get off the road here. And uh, smack these brakes one good time and see what happens. Hopefully the brake cap holds and doesn't pop off again like it did the last time, or like I didn't put on the last time. So let's see what happens. I get to just like I know I'm on an incline, so it's gonna stop a whole lot different, a whole lot faster. But just to give you an idea, I'm coming up to the light. I'm still not far from there, but that was my rotors in the back of my bed. <laughs> I haven't given the auto zone yet to drop them off. I haven't gone over there yet. quick I'll pop the hood oh it's so damn windy up here I don't know what's going on uh, oh shoot close door for me I guess <laughs> oh yes it's, it's good it held it's popping, it's popping out pretty soon That exhaust tip again that I put on yesterday. Look at that baby. Nice. So this morning I drove the truck to AutoZone this morning to pick up my uh, my uh, my bearings and everything. The guy had a had a um, I think it was a 2009 or 2010 something like that Dodge Ram. Well, whatever one doesn't have the dual exhaust. And he was like, man, your car sounds really, really well. You know, I was like, oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it, you know. And he was like, um, what kind of exhaust is that? Straight pipe? I'm like, not necessarily straight pipe. It's uh, just a Dynamax uh, bullet muffler. It's a straight through design, pretty much, but it's not straight piped. It's a muffler on there. And, you know, he had the 5.7 Hemi. And he was like, man, I would love to have it done on a tricep. Man, it's an exhaust shop on Florin. You know, I'm going to set it right up. So I went on Florin and uh, over, over here on the corner from where we're at. They put it on for 270. Now I was moving the old, the old muffler and this and this and this. And he was like, man, it sounds nice. So when I drove off, and um, he was behind me, and put next to me. He was like, "Man, that damn thing sounds good as hell." And he's man, that that tip is fucking wonderful, man. I was like, "Yeah, I had to put on." And he's, "What kind of tip is that?" I saw it's just a, a Summit Racing brand, you know. It's it, it's their personal brand tip, you know. Nothing. It's, it's not Madden Flow. It's not Flowmaster. It's not Corsa. He's like, "I thought it was a Corsa tip." I'm like, "Nah, it's not a Corsa tip. Corsa are smaller." I said, "These are four inch out, three inch in, four inch out." So. Um, that's it, you know. I'm in the video now. Um, well, it's on the eight right now. I'm hungry. I gotta go shopping later on for tomorrow. But, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been good, man. Actually, I need to go pick up my, my wife's, uh, 
present. So probably gonna get her an iPad. She's been asking for an iPad since like forever, so I'll probably just get her an iPad. So I'll catch up with you guys later on the next update. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what's gonna be um, as far as that's a nice ass crew cap. As far as uh, the next update, um, I don't know. It might be the master cylinder swap. Um, but um, I don't know how I spend a lot of time with the truck lately. I time with family. She's been getting on my, getting on my, getting on my case about, no, oh, you guys want the truck and this and this and this. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to get the channel popping, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know how this shit goes. You know, you're not know women are. But anyway, you guys, catch you guys later. Um, uh, oh, I should have took a video or video for you guys of uh, the brakes while I was sitting there and stopped, but I didn't. Sorry about that, but um, maybe I'll pause the video and then come back to when I get to where I'm going and then um, give you a little quick, you know, a little picture of it. They, they, they look good, though. They look good. They do. They do look good, and they do stop wonderful. I'm not going to say they're, they're any, you know, slouch, but if anybody's wondering what power stop brakes are, from basically, they sell you a remanufactured brake caliper that's painted red. So it's got all new seals, all new, you know, pins and everything in there. Yep, that's all new. Um, then, then they sell you a uh, zinc plated uh, drill slotted rotors and they sell you ceramic brake pads. That's their whole kit. Um, I'm going to order, order the next kit for the Suburban. Oh, yeah, that'd be, that's the next video, the Suburban, that's right. But... Um, I want to do the brake upgrade for the Suburban. So my, my Suburban's a 04. And I think like the 2011 or in NBS uh, brake bracket caliper rotor fits on my truck. And you probably say, oh, that's still stock shit. Well, if I order all of the damn power stop stuff for it, then I got the bigger rotors and bigger calipers. It's only about an inch difference, you know, what's an inch, but you know, I was gonna, I was planning to upgrade the brakes anyways on those. So, you know, I might as well just go ahead and spend the money for it once instead of getting the big brakes and then getting the power stop brakes after that. It's kind of like a waste of money. Um, for the rear, I told you guys in my last video I did, I think well, probably about two videos ago, to not upgrade the back calipers. Reason being because on the new 20, was it was 2012 or 2013 and up, was it 14, whatever 14, whatever new body style they have out, she, geez. Um, those rear calipers are only single piston calipers. And on the NBS trucks, 99 to 07 Classic, those calipers on the rear, if they had uh, uh, disc brakes on the back of it, so like Tahoe Yukon, Suburban, you know, those you may find a Silverado that had disc brakes on it, maybe, or an Avalanche that had disc brakes on it. Those brakes, um, those calipers are dual piston. So if you have an NBS, an NBS truck, 07, 9907, oh, Jesus Christ, all this NBS crap. 9907 just basically just change the, the rotors and change the brake pads to ceramic that's all i'm gonna do with mom i'm not gonna go and spend all the extra money for those so um yeah so i guess i catch you guys later i gotta go look at some headers now because i'm gonna do a full exhaust i'm gonna do three inch all the way out three inch exhaust you probably sound oh, it's too big for a stock motor it's too big for a stock motor yeah you're probably right but it's the reason behind it. I'm gonna put a cam in it, and the cam I'm looking at going going with is gonna push out. It's, it's, it's gonna push very well. So that exhaust is probably big enough for that cam. If not, then I'll probably go like two in, two uh, two and a quarter maybe two and a half. Uh, I gotta retain some back pressure, I guess. You know.